day, preschool friends. It's Miss Melissa and Ollie, and we are so excited to spend another morning with you. I have had so much fun this month learning that who loves you? That's right, God loves me. So, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about how God made me, and He loves me. And then last week, we talked about how God loves me, and He has a plan for me. Well, today's lesson is going to be about how God loves me no matter what. So, I have two signs. I have a happy face sign, and I have a sad face sign. The happy face is going to represent a good choice, and the sad face is going to represent a bad choice. I'm going to read you some little stories, and if you think the person is making a good choice, I want you to shout, good choice. But if you think they're making a bad choice, then you're going to shout, bad choice. Are you ready? Okay. Your mom said not to get a cookie because they were for later, but you took one anyway. Good choice or bad choice? That's a bad choice. You're right. Here's the next one. Your little brother is sad. You offer to build, to build with blocks to help him feel better. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? A good choice. You helped your brother feel happy. When you finish playing with the blocks, you leave them scattered all over the floor instead of putting them away. Good choice or bad choice? Oh, that's a bad choice. We should always clean up our space when we're finished playing. Okay, the next one. Your dad asks you to help set the table. You collect all the napkins, forks, and spoons and put them where they go on the table. Good choice or bad choice? Good choice. Being a happy helper is always a good choice. A friend asks if he can have a turn on the swings. You say, sure, and hop off the swing so he can have a turn. Good choice or bad choice? Yep, that's a good choice. You shared your swing. Okay, we've got a few more. When your mom says you need to wash your hands before you can have a snack, you stomp your foot and say, I don't want to. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? That's a bad choice. It is not okay to say mean words like that. Your dad gives you a five minute warning that it's almost time to leave the playground at the park. When the five minutes are up and he says it's time to go, you say, okay dad, and leave without complaining. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? That's a good choice because you obeyed all the way, right away, and with a happy heart. Okay, here's the last one. A friend lets you ride his scooter. You don't want to give it back. Good choice or bad choice? That would be a bad choice if you don't want to give it back. You should be thankful that your friend shared with you. Good job, guys. We make so many choices every day, and sometimes we make good ones and sometimes we don't. But the good news is, God loves us no matter what. So in today's Bible story with Ollie, you're going to hear about a man who made some bad choices, but his dad and God loved him anyway. I miss you, and I hope you enjoy the Bible story. See you later. It is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss Oh, well, hello there, friends. I'm Kai, and as you can see, I'm cleaning up. I should be selling lemonade in the best lemonade stand with the lemoniest lemonade around. But, as you can see, our lemonade stand is missing the most important thing, the lemonade. 
It all started a few minutes ago when Poppy and I were getting set up. Poppy, watch out! Ah! The good news is Poppy's okay. The bad news is she spilled all the lemonade on me! I feel kind of mad, a little sad, and a little bit frustrated. We've been working so hard! Now what are we supposed to do? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Kai. Who? Who? What's got you feeling so blue? Hi, Ollie. Poppy tripped and spilled all the lemonade on me. Now we don't have any lemonade. Kai, that is hard. It's true. I've got the perfect story for you. Just listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at this postcard a father is sending to his son. It's got a big heart and it says, I love you. Aw, isn't that sweet? It reminds me of a story. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is actually a story that Jesus told so we would know that God loves us no matter what. It's about a father and a son. One day, the son asked his dad if he could have a lot of money that his dad was saving for him to have when he was much older. The dad gave him the money. The son took the money and went far away. He spent his money on everything. He bought clothes and toys and fancy food. He kept spending his money until it was all gone. Everyone say, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh is right. All his money was gone and he was all alone. He didn't have a house or money or food. In fact, at one point, he even wanted to eat pig's food. Ugh. The son knew he had made bad choices and he was very sorry. He wanted to go back to his dad and tell him how sorry he was. He decided to go back home. When his dad saw him coming, his dad ran down the road to hug him. His dad forgave him. He loved him. Nothing could ever change that. And do you know what? God loves you the same way the father in the story loved his son. God will never, ever, ever stop loving you. He loves you no matter what. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God loves you no matter what, so we can love each other, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. We are so special to God that he loves us no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it. Good. You know what? So of Pop even though she spilled the lemonade. We can always make more. I'm gonna go check on her now. See you guys next time, goodbye. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39 Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39
Like me. 